Hey guys, so unfortunately I have to put a little uh, insert in here because as you've noticed I do abrupt stops and starts in my videos because they always take a little bit longer than I expect. So I just wanted to introduce you to, this is part two of the um, the psychic, the updated psychic build that I have. And um, I'll actually post a picture of, because I've actually even updated a little bit further than this. I know, I keep updating it as soon as I find something. But I did find a 40th card that I think I'll kind of like it's mirror force but i'll show you a picture of what it looks like at the very end so we're about to jump into the next duel that i promised y'all so see ya okay this guy was a little weird by weird i mean he was a straight up quirr because he was running dark worlds no swap i don't want to look at his fucking hand so he went first this guy who runs goblin king for the love of humanity don't run goblin king Okay, you know how in the previous video I said that Wabaku would not stop piercing damage? Okay, that's what it said online. I don't know if it's accurate, though, because this guy active. Hold on, where did... Oh, it's right here. His top de... That is the ugliest looking Karibo ever. Anyway, he activated Karibo, and it did stop piercing damage. So... It's a little confusing in that respect. Um... Okay, what do I do? So, oh, overdrive. So I now have two sidekick counters on there. One for the extra normal summon to summon overdrive. Two for the um, fact that I'm about to activate his effect. So now I can activate... Oh, sorry if I hit the mic. Uh, now I can activate Rise Bell's effect. Let's see what happens. Bam, baby! Um, unfortunately, I only gained 100 life points because this motherfucker only had 100 attack points. But I get an attack directly for 2100. Now, um, real quickly, I have not tested out. I just literally downloaded two hours ago the new version of YGO Pro, the 2155 or whatever it is. So before in the previous version, they had a glitch and you were not able to summon Starform Dragon. So I have not tried it out yet. Otherwise, I would have summoned Starform Dragon in some of my later duels. Um, but yeah, they should have fixed it. And that faggot, god damn it. A little turd for doing that. But because I have a brain research lab, being able to summon two normal monsters, hell yeah, shit's about to happen. Hell yeah, I just summoned Armored Axon Kicker. Now I can normal summon him without a tribute because I have another psychic type monster on my side of the field. Now I use his effect because I can special summon um, something from my grave. Okay, that guy, obviously. And I probably... Okay, what do I go into? I could summon a Blackwing Dragon or a Stardust Dragon. Um, let's see what happens. Stardust. Okay. Stardust will keep this from being destroyed. Um, and Blackwing Dragon will just absorb the damage as a counter. So either one, really. I summon Stardust probably just to protect me from a Dark Hole or something. Now, this faggot likes to play dirty. Um, by dirty, I mean a Spirit Reaper, which I cannot get around. Oh, this is back when I was running Grand Soil, by the way. And I never summoned Grand Soil, because I can't. Um, so that's the reason why it's a little annoying. But yeah. So I wasn't able to do anything for quite a while until I uh, drew Mental Seeker, and now I can actually do something. Why? Because I could either use Armored Axon Kicker and Mental Seeker, or use one, two, three. But essentially, I summon um, Hyper Psychic Blaster. Hyper Psychic Blaster! And then I summon Mental Seeker. This is back when I only had one Hyper Psychic Blaster. Otherwise, the smart thing, the reason why I have two now. Oh, by the way, Mental Seeker, um, his ability is flip the top three cards of your opponent's deck and uh, remove one of them from play. So I remove from play his axe of despair. Um, so yeah, I would have gone into a second Hyper Psychic Blaster if I could have because I could have attacked his uh, Spirit Reaper twice and inflicted piercing damage. Of course, I did not know that he had a Kribo in his hand. So I gained the 2800, but he didn't take 2800. So I'm questioning whether or not Wabaku could really stop it. Um, piercing damage. And of course, what kind of... Let's see, that's why I've started right there. <laughs> Jesus. Come back. Let's do it all over again, bitch. Oh, whoops, I'm not pressing it. But yeah, this deck's so much fun, you just don't know, man. Now I can summon a Blackwing. There we go, that way I'm protected, just in case if he activates a Mystical Space Typhoon, I don't have to worry about it, because I've got enough monsters to obviously crush him. Um, and then I wouldn't take... 
because what it's got three psychic counters, so I would take three thousand damage, but I wouldn't, because I'm just good like that. Excuse me, and this guy was obviously bluffing, because nothing is going to stop me from killing him. His ultimate demise ends with Hyper Psychic Blaster. Hyper Psychic Blaster! I'm pretty sure that was Ar one of Iron Man's attacks. Also, uh, along with Repulsor Blast. Repulsor Blast or something like that. I can't remember. But it was pretty cool. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, this was the next one that I did. I was playing against... You know how annoying uh, burn decks are, right? Well, this guy got a lesson in pain. Um, courtesy of me. Dr. Foot in your ass. But, um... Yeah, I took a thousand damage. But the great thing about this deck is it keeps consistent high life point count. So I really didn't have to worry about anything. First turn, set Serene Psychic Witch. Let him attack it if he does. Of course, I didn't know that this was a pure burn deck. I thought he also might have something. Um, but yeah, if it gets destroyed, being able to special summon a psychic type monster from my deck. So that would help kick things off. But unfortunately, he doesn't, and I'm like, well, fuck. So anyway, but here we go! Now we get to get a brain research lab and magic starts fucking happening and shit. And shit and stuff and shit. And stuff. Go into something. Thought real archfiend. Now I can normal summon. Yep. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it, motherfucker. Okay, attack face down. Oh! Oh, what's that? It's targeting me! Well, I don't like that, so I'm gonna negate it by placing one psychic type counter on here. Oh, oh, what's that? You're going to trigger that? Well, unfortunately, that doesn't work either. And you know how Scrap Iron Scarecrow, if it does successfully activate, it would just be reset face down? Well, I negated and destroyed it, so get raped, you faggot. But yeah, it's a good thing I attacked this one with um, Thought Real Archfiend. Honestly, did not know that it was a stone statue of the Aztecs. Who the fuck runs that these days? Like, honestly, I haven't seen that since Season 2 of the original Duel Monster series. But yeah, so I take 500 there, and then it gets a special summon. God, that, that's a little annoying. I mean, it's not that damaging. Like, if this was the anime duel where you only have 4,000 life points, it might be a little more annoying. But I have 8,000 life points, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, obviously you can't um, activate Mecha Bunny's effect if I don't have any monsters on my side of the field, because you do have to target one of my monsters before you can activate it. And he thinks that um, now he has no hand. See, that that's the mistake about these types of decks. Now you have no fucking hand. But, um, whoops, I did not mean to hit that. But now it's my turn. Let's see what happens. Armored Axon Kicker, yes. So now I could activate, oh, now he activates just desserts. But pff, honestly, I don't give a shit, dude. Oh, man, that hurt so much. God damn it, that hurt. But yeah, I could have attacked with Armored Axon Kicker, but I wanted to gain 800 life ones for some reason. Oh! Yeah, that's right, I forgot it. Special summons another one. Now I can use the Armored Axon Kicker's effect. Um, special summon something from the grave. What do I special summon? Do I special summon anything? Oh, apparently not. Well, I'm going to protect him with Thought Ruler. So, you have no hand, and you suck, dude. So, get fucking raped. That's what you get for running a, um, a burn deck. So, honestly, don't feel sorry for people who run burn decks. If you thought Exodia was troll... Oh, obviously he quit out because he had nothing. Um, if you think Exodia is troll, god damn it, you need to piss off because burn decks are so much more troll. Um, yeah, but anyway. Okay, so now I was facing a Photon deck. Honestly thought I was going to lose this fucking duel. Um, I don't remember how I pulled it back. I essentially make I have a tendency to make my opponent waste their hands very easily with this deck. So maybe that's why. I don't know. But yeah. He summons Galaxy Wizard, adds a Photon Dragon. Um, special summons at Photon Sanctuary, he's a little bitch. Uh, Galaxy has Photon Dragon and he does some shit, yeah. But anyway. Thankfully he wasn't able to pull off a Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Isn't that a mouthful? But he does pull off the Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon or whatever the fuck that. Hold on, let me check. This faggot. Number 107, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. He actually does have Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. That's interesting. I have never actually taken an interest in running... Really? Just because it has the word Photon in it? Anyway, um, I've never really even taken... He doesn't have Photon Strike Bouncer in here. What the fuck? But I've never taken an interest in Photons. Even though 
Supposedly the Kaiba version of Zaxel runs photons, but I've never, you know, done anything with it. Um, yep. Yep. I'll, I'll sit on it, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Um, oh, this guy didn't waste his entire hand in the end. It's just that his entire hand that he does have left eventually is useless. So now, this motherfucker can up his level to 8, apparently, because that's what happens. I was like, the fuck? And I actually do know what Tachyon Dragon's effect is, because, um, I was thinking about running him in Dragoonity, so... If an effect activates successfully, he gets to attack again, and up his attack by... Is it a thousand? By a thousand. But, um, Mental Seeker's effect, so I chose the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, because... I don't know, I just felt co more comfortable choosing that. Is Tachyon fucking... Yeah, he is light. Uh, that's what I figured. I figured all the Galaxy Eyes... All the Galaxy and Photon monsters are light, I believe. Um, just set this, because that's all I can really do. Um, he actually pulls a pretty smart move here. By detaching one of these things, he can negate all face-up monsters' effects. So his face-up eff his effect is, um, if I do not control another fa Photon, yeah, it loses 800 attack. So he um, made its attack 2000 by activating Tachyon Dragon's effect. Which is pretty smart, however... Should have done the other way. Attacked with this first, then that. But, you know, I guess he didn't know what my defense was. Could have been a Hush Psychic Cleric, so I guess that was pretty smart. So what I am really looking for right now is a um, is a Brain Research Lab. Because if I can summon a Brain Research Lab, if I can play a Brain Research Lab, I can summon Destructotron, beat the shit out of that face down, then extra normal summon Overdrive, then bring out two level threes by just putting a psychic counter on this and then do some shit. I could actually summon a, um, a star form dragon if I had it in my extra deck at the time. But I don't, and that's alright. I'm like, fuck. Oh well. So I um, do that. And I do something else. Oh, that's right. I black rose the field. So the great thing about black rose is black rose will blow up the field before psychic silent wizard's effect will activate. So I'll get mental seeker afterwards. So yeah, so I just use Mental Seeker as um, a blocker, and then Mental Seeker's effect goes off, so... Okay, obviously I'm going to go for this guy. Um, wait, what? Photon Lizard? I thought I, I thought I saw... Okay, maybe it was a Photon Lizard. Um, I honestly thought it was a Photon... What the hell is that name of that guy? Photon Thrasher. This guy is extremely good. Um, so yeah, anyway. Because he's 2100 attack and he can be special summoned quite easily. So yeah, this guy um, freaking attacks me. I kind of am doing pitifully because I don't have a brain research lab right now. But once you draw a brain research lab, shit starts to happen. So I destroy that face down because it's another mirror force. Um, and I destroy a saber tiger. And I kind of forgot at this point. This is back when I was only running one Destructotron. The Destructor Tron's effect is, yeah, he goes bye-bye if he doesn't have another one on the field. So, but it was worth it because I got rid of his um, Mirror Force. But I take another hit right here. But, um, so, David, you better come up with... Uh, did I just use my real name? Damn it. Oh, well. Uh, you better come up with something pretty fast. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But anyway, so, yeah, Mental Seeker again because I like pissing off this guy with Mental Seeker's effect. It's really fun. Because the guy's like, what the hell is he doing this time looking at my cards? This isn't Pot of Duality. He can't flip the top three cards of my deck. He could have activated Forbidden Dress, but honestly, um, he wouldn't have saved Photon Saber Tiger because this guy would have been at 1300. So it would have been no point in it. Now look at this. He has a dead hand. He can't do anything with it. So he's essentially screwed. So I'm about to win because of that. I mean, you know, soon I will. So, overdrive, special summon that. Okay, now I sent a Photon Thrasher to the grave. Because Photon Thrasher, he would be able to easily special summon if I can't kill him in this turn. So I do actually pay 2,000 life points because it's actually worth it to do this. So, increase it by 2, going to Thought Rule Archfiend, just in case if he had something that, you know, I needed to negate. Could have also gone into a... Um, Stardust Dragon, whatever. Now he activated Forbidden Dress, so I could negate it with Thought Ruler Archfiend, but I wasn't going to pay the thousand life points to stop it. 
Because I added it up and it would not kill him this turn. So there's no point in even worrying about it. But yeah. Yeah, bitch. So yeah, he draws Dark Hole. And what's that? Mind over matter. Yeah, bitch. Save him. Now I get rid of Overdrive Teleporter because Overdrive Teleporter is essentially dead anyway. He can't do anything. And um, you can only use Overdrive Teleporter's effect once. Oh, now we get Brain Research Lab. My favorite card in the entire deck. I just play it for shits and giggles. But yeah, um, you can only activate Overdrive Teleporter's effect once while he's while that one is face up on the field. If you summon another one later on, you could activate that one once while it was up on the field also. So yeah, whatever. And I've got one more, actually. Um, I thought I was going to lose this duel also. Uh, Hieratics. So it's been a while since I've played a Hieratic deck. They're not that good, but... You know, it was fun to play against it, mainly because I start off with Psychic Overload, Majestic, or Starlight Road, and a Terraforming right off the bat. It was amazing. Just set Serene Psychic Witch and let them, you know, take the heat off of you. But he actually summons Big Eye his first turn, because he's a little queer. I think he summoned Big Eye. Yeah, he summoned Big Eye his first turn, because he's a little queer. Um, and he took my monster. So I had to sort of improvise in what I was going to do. Otherwise, I'm going to, I'm obviously going to take what 3,600 here. So I'll be at what 4,400. But um, I had to improvise. Otherwise, I was going to die. So I started thinking of some things of what I could do, and I was like, you know what? This is probably the best thing to do. So set that first as a blocker for next turn, and then um, ha how about we crash into each other, the the witch sisters. So that way I get to activate both of their effects. Um, grab a tuner and and a destructotron to be able to start getting rid of this shit. Uh, as long as Brain Research Lab stays on the field, which I am because I'm going to um, set a Starlight Road, then um, his effect is free. He's a free MST. He's a free continuous MST. And I love him. So really, he's like a heavy storm. Um, except he does it individually. So they can't activate stuff like Starlight Road, for instance, because he he does it individually, which is the reason why he's so amazing. He really is. And also Psychic Overload, so that way I can add shit to my hand after I've recycled some shit. So, unfortunately, the next standby phase in this particular case is his standby phase. Usually it's my standby phase that you're used to activating her effect. So I just uh, use him for blockers. Now, his he will not go to the grave because I do actually have Psychic Monsters on my side of the field at the end phase. But he is foolish enough to use Big Eye's effect again. And he's foolish enough to choose my face down monster. Oh, by the way, that was Esper Girl's effect. Removing the top card of my deck. Uh, and then it'll add to my hand after Esper Girl leaves the field. So, yeah, he uses it to sack for that. Then he goes into a tome, and he's stupid. Why did you do that? Honestly, I don't know why he did that. I think he was a noob because um, he goes into battle phase and I'm like, you idiot. Just go into main phase too. You can't do anything. And he stayed in battle phase for about five or six seconds. He's like, why can't I attack? Well, read your fucking card descriptions and that's the reason why you can't attack. But yeah. Holy shit, this video is going to be long again. I'm going to have to split up into two again. But yeah, so um, that's game for him. Why? Immediately activate Destructotron's effect. Um, goodbye, <laughs> you arrogant, ignorant fool. Recycle. Actually, the two cards that I draw don't do me any fucking good. But uh, so yeah. Anyway, first things first. Probably do that. Get that, which is extremely good because I haven't normal summoned yet. So what I'll do is I'll normal summon Psychic Snail and Mental Seeker. Then I'll go into Hyper Psychic Blaster. Put a Psychic Counter on here instead of paying 800 life points for Psychic Snail's effect. Make Hyper Psychic Blaster attack twice. And then what I could have done actually was Monster Reborn um, uh, an Esper Girl and summoned a Barkeon or something to be able to continue to attack or something. But either way, this guy was clearly dead because I was going to attack these two, destroy them, and then next turn I was going to attack him and then attack again because I was just going to use Psychic Snail's effect again. And his next card on top of his deck was this thing, which special summon one hieratic monster from your hand. Wow, you don't have any hieratic monsters from your hand, so you're dead. So yeah, he would have lost anyway, 
but he ended up giving up as soon as he saw that I just gave Hyperpsychic Blast with the ability to attack twice. So that's why the replay ended. So anyway, yeah, so that's my Psychic deck. I, this is, I mean, besides the fact that I only have 39 cards right now, I'm going to add a 40th card. Um, th that's probably the best version that I've got so far, and it's really good, it's really fun. So if you're going to play this at a Locals tournament, this is the way to go, man. It's such a freaking cool deck. I really like it. And um, it's mainly because of the Brain Research Lab. So this card makes dreams possible. It's like the Make-A-Wish Foundation. It, make, it makes my dreams come to life, like, honestly. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you all in future vids. So see ya. Okay, actually, not see ya. Uh, <laughs> like I told you, I would um, actually post exactly what I have um, changed exactly. So... Oh, uh, God, it's so s small. Okay, so first of all, in the extra deck, I actually did take out one of the Blackwing Dragons since I rarely summon it. I only had two in there, really, because if one got destroyed, I needed to replace it with another. But that rarely ever happened, so instead, what I have replaced right between Black Rose Dragon and uh, Barkeon is an OCG card, actually. It's Ancient Fairy Dragon, but the dark form of her. She's actually extremely good. Look her up if you don't know what her effect is. Um, essentially, when a field spell card is played, you get a draw card. Um, and then also, when something else happens, something else really good happens. But anyway. And then the other, the, th the 40th card that I put in my main deck was just the Mirror Force that I was talking about. So the only changes that I've made is I took out one Black Wing, and I put in an uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon, and I added a Mirror Force. But that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you all in later vids, so thanks for watching and see ya.